Well, the loose woman might be on lockdown, but nothing keeps us down, does it, girls? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we are breaking out online. Yeah. <laughs> I'm breaking out in a rash. I don't know about anything else. <laughs> I'm breaking up with my whole family. So much more of this. Well, I tell you what, Stacey, on that rug, you look as if you're going to be breaking out in a sweat. What are you doing, girl? Do you know what? I'm just sitting on the sofa because for the first time today, Joe's doing, Joe's taking over. This is, the afternoon is his time now. And I'm, I'm liking that angle. Oh, well, thanks. That's a better <laughs> angle. Cheating. That's cheating, Jane Moore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm to get rid of my afternoon. Yeah. Um, how is everyone? What the hell? Well, yeah, I, I'm much better today than I was yesterday. And Nadia, we spoke a bit earlier, and you're much worse today than you were yesterday. Is that right? Much worse. Took a kick in today with it. Just, right. it was just, you know what it was? It was just that last thing that Maddie was holding on to, a last um, thing to be excited about, which is in August, which she's been looking forward to for a whole year, and it just got cancelled. And uh, she's been really resilient, and she just went, she just went, Mum, that's the whole year. That's just the whole... She was just so low. And it just got to... I just felt exhausted with it all. I've been really good at keeping my... But today, I'm just... I've had enough. Have you been out at all? It's not not going out, because I'm fine with that. It's, it's just the kids watching every disappointment that's going on. You know, and they said, like, it's so cruel because it's sunny in London. I know it's not in Scotland, okay? and it's like all they want to do is go out and hang out. They want to rev up for all the festivals they had booked and everything, and I just feel heartbroken for them. And this yeah. is day three, day three. We've got a long way to go. How are your kids doing, Stacey? Do you know what? They're, they're a bit younger than yours, Ned, so they're, they're not seeing it the same way. They're almost like, woohoo, what a jolly art. Um, and it's actually, I mean, I am not able to teach them at all. I get 20 minutes out of them in the mornings and that's about it. Um, and then the rest of the day, they're just like, way, <laughs> no more school. I think that, I, do you know what? I do get moments where I'm like, oh my goodness, there's so much work that they need to do and I'm not keeping up with it. And I, I get a bit anxious about being indoors. But then I think about my sister and she gets called in to, to work soon because she's a nurse. And I just think I, I feel so lucky to be able to self-isolate, even if my kids are driving me mad and Joe's getting on my nerves. I feel like I'm the lucky one because there's so many people out there who have to go to work and have to work in what feels like the apocalypse. Yeah. Just, are, you, are you worried about your sister, Stacey? So worried. So, so worried because I know that loads of the nurse the, the NHS staff, loads of people that are working like um, even on shop floors, shop assistants, um, are all are all you know a lot of them are getting it and are getting ill. So I am I'm definitely worried for my sister. I'm worried for everyone. Yeah. It's just overwhelming. The whole thing is so surreal. It doesn't feel like it's real life. Jean, I know that poor Gracie, her GCSEs were cancelled. My yeah. child is the same. Um, what, what are you seeing to Gracie and are you like doing work with her because you know she's a bit older and she's heading for exams? Well luckily because her school closed early because they had several cases at her school of suspected um, COVID-19 about three weeks ago so they closed the school down before all the other schools closed down but before they did it before they shut up shop they set them all up online so okay. she, this is what she does with her school teacher. Right. So they, they're all set up for this. So say, okay, you're the school teacher. And then you see um, three others of your class all in the same session. Oh, wow. Well, thank God for yeah. that. That's she amazing. Her work. Yeah. So I know li literally her homework, she's now year, what is she? 12 or something. Her homework was past my capabilities by year three apart from um, English. So I looked at her chemistry the other day and it looked like hieroglyphics. I just had no idea. Honestly, our system's a bit different. Leighton's is exactly like that. He goes online, signs on, ticks a thing, does his thing and then submits it. Zach's is so hard. He's only year seven and I genuinely thought I would know how to help him. And I am, 
I, he asked me questions and I'm like, Zach, I honestly don't know. You're going to have to Google it. And he is getting a, a lesson. Like he's getting his full timetable every single day. So he's getting geography, maths, English, PE, all of this stuff set for him a day. And I'm like, it's overwhelming me. I don't even, I don't, you know I don't what? Even... I've been seeing so many people online. And of course, all these different programs and magazines are asking me to do stuff about home schooling. But the main thing I would say is, not so much with the older girls that got exams, we're a week before Easter holiday. We're in the most extenuating circumstances ever. Parents are under such enormous pressure. They're cracking up. And now they're being asked to follow a really tight schedule. And they're, and they're feeling a failure. And already I think so many of us feel failures as parents because our kids are so unhappy. And I would just say, just take your foot off the gas. They'll catch up. I mean, it's Easter holidays on Friday. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine sent me a photo of somebody that put something on her WhatsApp group with their children like this, with their plaques and their uniform at seven o'clock at morning on the top. And a lot of parents are having to work from home. And the thing is, with, within homeschooling and home education, you, we, it's really hard to get out of that mindset. It doesn't have to happen at those times in the day. Like if you're, a, if you're working from home and it works better for you to work at 7.30 in the morning and get your work done, do you work with the kids at four o'clock it really doesn't matter what time of day you do and people are being put under this and so many people have messaged me and go i can't do it i can't get it up i can't you can't suddenly become a teacher overnight you just no. can't no. And, and the worst the way thing is that all we, we you know we've spent all our lives telling our kids that we know everything and now they know very much that we don't, we don't <laughs> well, know that, much that actually, that's a very very good point because the whole philosophy with home editing is that you you don't have that pressure that you say as i do 20 times a day with my kids oh i don't know let's find out and actually, this could be a real period of time where, you're, where your kid is being more of a self-starter because they're kind of waiting for the information. Yeah. Okay. Hey, how, okay. how is Charlie about um, her A-levels now? Um, well, it's uh, advanced hires that, that she's at. Um, yeah, really hard because I mean, she worked so hard on a dissertation and uh, we just learned last night that they're not going to mark it. Um, so no. Months and months and months of. Work. Can't they just mark it? Um, no, the exam board. I mean, the teachers will will look at it oh, and they will try and mark it. But it should have been externally test um, marked um, by the exam board, and that won't happen. Oh, that's so oh. rubbish! What the hell? That is brutal. That Listen, is changing disgusting. the subject, Nadia. Are you keeping up your beauty routine? I just changed out of one grey top that was stained from here to here into another grey top that's a wee bit whiffy <laughs> to prepare myself for this. <laughs> Honestly. Did you, see Caprice, did you see Caprice this morning? She says that her beauty regime, she stands in a, an upright freezer for three minutes a day. Why? Why is her freezer? I, well, apparently I it's, it's really good for... You know, like I remember years ago, I went to a spa and it's called, I think, cryotherapy. You know, where they freeze yeah. you, yeah. So I've got low blood pressure anyway, and I hate being cold. So my friend said, Oh, let's try this out. It's really good for your skin. Well, first of all, we looked like those blokes in the 118 ad. We had like toweling <laughs> leg fans on and these leg warmers that where they put on your extremities. We looked completely <laughs> ridiculous. And we were waiting to go into this chamber and they said, oh, there's some people in there already, all wearing the same outfit. And when the door opened and they came out, it was Cherie Blair. Wow. Yeah, is that? Apparently, apparently she does it like once or twice a week, goes into a cryotherapy <laughs> chamber for, for beauty wow. purposes. Yeah. <laughs> how, are your, how are your um, marriages holding up? <laughs> Straight to it, space. <laughs> yeah, I really just want to know so I don't feel as bad to myself. Well, why have you got something to tell us, Stacey? No, he's just driving me mad. I'll tell oh, you right. what, this is going to be, there's going to be so many, oh, it, it, awesome. yeah, it's just, it's tricky. Can I really annoy you? Say. Can I really huh? annoy you? Ian yeah, uh, yeah. turned into a domestic goddess. Ah, yay. I hate you. <laughs> That's so unfair. You don't deserve that, Kay. <laughs> it's only day three, though. It's she only day three. 
I'm still doing my radio show, so I came in um, at one o'clock and he was standing in front of the cooker, stirring pasta, and the soup was already made. And uh, that Bonnie was having her lunch and I was having soup and he bought some nice bread. Aww. Oh, well that, oh no, Gary's good at all that. Gary cooks all the time and, you know, and he's quite good. But it's more that I, I, I really want to declutter. I'm kind of like, we're never going to have this situation again. And eventually when we want to move house and downsize, let's get it all decluttered now. Yeah. And he just is flatly refusing to do it. So I'm dealing with a lot of clutter. Yeah. But do you know, think, are you enjoying some special time with Gary? <laughs> I am. Um, oh, we were arguing day? earlier. We were arguing over who gets to do what level of the house. Because obviously there's easier levels and harder levels, like floors of the house. So like, the How many levels floor, have you got? Well, we've only got three. <laughs> one's a lot but no but the top like you live one, in trump tower the, t- <laughs> the top floor is easiest because there's only one tiny room and then the middle floor is the hardest because it's all the kids bedrooms and then the downstairs is like medium level so we were arguing about who was going to get the top level <laughs> the bottom level of cleaning i was like oh my did, god they can't you be in your house to clean no, there's plenty. Earlier, Joe hoovered and he was like, I've hoovered everything. And so basically what he did was hoovered all the hallways and shut all the doors. So <laughs> <laughs> everything looks great until you open a door. <laughs> Stacey, where's Rex? Rex is upstairs. Um, Joe's getting him to sleep. He's he, on he, level two. He's, he's on the fourth floor <laughs> with Joe. Um, yeah, Joe's getting him to sleep. And Nadia, are you going to sort out your wardrobe? Please don't. It's now. It's just there's no excuse. Every day I go right today. I walk around. I look at it. I shed a tear because Stacey was going to come and help me. I don't even Aww. know how to start. And I'm like, do you know what you've got to do? Take it all out and put it on the floor. That's the best way to start. Take every single thing out of that wardrobe and dump it on the floor. It, it's already then... on the floor. It's already on the floor. <laughs> 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 I was going to say just this. What do you do once it's on the floor? What's the next step? <laughs> it's been on the floor for the best part of a decade. Then saw it out into the, ra- the rainbow. Get it all in the colour of the rainbow. So put all your reds together, yellows, pinks, greens, and then hang everything up by colour. And then you are, it will look so nice. And it's the easiest way to sort anything out. Don't put it in piles of like item. Put it in colour. So grey, 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 grey. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. I've never heard of that before. I love that. It's the, it's the easiest way i found to... Because then I wake up in the morning and I don't go, oh, do I want to wear trousers and a top? I think, what colour do I want to wear? And I, and I think that most of the time I go, That's well, I, I feel a bit black tip. or I feel a bit red or whatever, and I just go to the red section. It's my kitchen that's the real problem. I've got such an overfill situation. You know what? I'm so jealous of you right now. What I would do to have a a kitchen to organise during quarantine. I organise mine far too in advance. I should have waited for this to happen. You peaked too early. Basically, (laughs) my kitchen would be an equivalent to a trip to Disneyland. This is a theme park for you. I I can't talk right now. That that should go, Carl. Shut the door. Goodbye. <laughs> Was that Joe, <yours>, Stevie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stacey, Stacey. Stacey. One minute, one minute. Let me just show you around this room. What would you do in here? Oh, is that my uh, special room? What is what is that? That looks like you know one of them shops that you go into when you're on holiday in like Marrakesh or Egypt. Yeah. That is what yeah. your that room looks That's like. That's Mark's special room, isn't it? With all yeah. the movie stuff. Yeah, every single thing is thick with dust. Everything. Look, it's a dream. Oh. Take it all out and dust it, and then put it back in in order. No, <laughs> it not get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a really bad time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if it's, do you know what you need? If it's Mark's room, just get a shutter. One of those shutters and just put it across. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. Well, Listen, we cracked that... open a jigsaw, me and Grace. I saw oh, your jigsaw on Instagram. I was a bit jealous. Yeah. I immediately started looking for a 
How so? I quite like doing a drink. It's quite mindful. You know, you just have it on the table and every so often when you're feeling a bit, you just sit there and do a few pieces. Yeah. It's quite good. Yeah. I wrote my mum a letter yesterday because I really miss my mum because she's Aww. obviously here every day usually helping me if I'm working and stuff. And uh, so I wrote her a letter and I know it sounds weird, but I genuinely, for the 25 minutes or whatever it was that I sat there concentrating on what I was writing, I didn't think about anything that was going on and it was I haven't put pen to paper in such a long time um so I really really it's one of the again like a puzzle it's one of those things you think oh actually this is taking my mind off of everything right now you, you know, know that is that is one of the bonuses and especially for home edit people that are now homeschooling we are always talking about how we don't have enough time to read to sit to chat to our families to do this to do that we have to just try and take this moment and get a bit of that you know, I mean, you writing a letter to your mum, would you ever have done that in any other situation? No. Oh. That's I'm nice, right. that's nice. I look forward to us all receiving our letters, Dave. Yeah. They're, they're on their way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I so love seeing your faces, girls. No. Uh, I really I miss, miss I miss going into work. Yeah, I miss you lot so much. Honestly, I haven't smiled like this in ages. I, I, miss, I miss hugging people I'm not having sex with. What, Are you what? actually having sex? <laughs> can we leave that? Can we leave that till tomorrow? I, I, <laughs> I don't think I can cope with that today. Oh, Get that away from me. Oh, I love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Miss Take you care. Keep well. Bye. Bye.